Welcome to Pick It and Flick It Podcast. Who are you? Well, why me? You're the introer here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks for watching the show. Who are you? Yeah. How'd you get here? I'm Vox. I'm Natasha. What did we, uh, we sit through today? Well, first of all, welcome to our Halloween extravaganza. Oh, yeah, that's right. Part three. We did one of these yesterday. Yes. And the day before. <laughs> and the day before. And the day before. <laughs> and we're not spacing them out ever. <laughs> no. <laughs> we don't watch these unconsecutive. This is all in the month of October. Yep. The leaves are falling on the ground. We went to a haunted house last night. Yep. It's cold. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, we watched Suspiria um, 2018. Or as some people say, Suspiria. I don't Sus- get that. Suspiria. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Tomato, tomato. But it is a remake, but from the videos that we had just watched, it's not really a remake because it's not a lot. It's like nothing like the original, and I guess. And to clarify that, we watched the video because we're confused. Yes. Okay. I'm glad that I'm not the only one that was confused because I wanted to ask you, but I'm like, obviously, we're going to be talking about this in 0.2 seconds when we walk down the stairs. Right. So I felt stupid watching this movie. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Am, am I missing something? Are there hidden things? No. That didn't. It, that was it. Like yeah, it's yeah. surface level. I mean, I'm sure there's like a little bit stuff that's deeper, but well, I probably already guessed that. So stuff. like, okay, again, we watched a, a like a little bit of a recap thing just to kind of explain or to understand the what, plot. what we thought we didn't understand, even though it seemed like we do understand it. Right? Yeah, I learned uh, nothing. From yeah, those not to not to watch and like steal ideas from as far as a review I yes wanted, i want to clarify okay that. yeah we i because i said can we watch a breakdown yeah because i was i'm thinking maybe there's something i missed you know we're not going to really be able to have a long podcast about something that i do not understand at all which is fine either way yeah. but i just wanted to preface but the fact no, that we're not trying to steal other people's yeah review we're ideas. not stealing anyone's reviews we just were trying to see if they could give us the inside a little bit and we could so <clears throat> I think if I am correct here, this is rather surface level. Like, I don't think that there was much like deep dive undertones of political corruption, racial bias or femininity bias, yeah. even though it kind of seems that way because the movie is all female, l- literally 99 percent female besides the one. And it comes to come he's to find out it's female. not even a, he's not even or a he. he's not even a male. <laughs> it's It's played by a female. So. Um, yeah, I don't think, th- and that's what I kind of went into this movie, uh, knowing very, very little about it, the original and this one that yeah. like, oh, the God, this is a very, like, it's a very female base. Like I was expecting a lot of like, um, you know, feminist kind of, uh, ideas and, and propaganda, not realizing that it took place in, what was it? 77, 77, yeah. right? Well, yeah. 77. I, I think I had either seen it on Letterboxd or like I was looking up Dakota Johnson and Suspiria came up and I liked the way the cover looked. Yeah. Very, and then I saw like that very it was retro. A, yeah. I saw yeah. it was a horror movie. So, you know, I'm like, you know what? Let me add it to the list. And when I said something to Luke about it, he was like, oh, my God, Suspiria. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure he I don't know. Don't quote me. And I'm sorry if he's listening to this and he's like, I didn't give it that. But I'm pretty sure he gave it a nine or a ten. Like, yeah. I you remember always check his letterbox. Yeah. But I know. remember like saying to him like, oh, we're going to be watching Suspiria next. And he was like, oh, boy. Like, don't he's like, don't look anything up about okay. this movie. He's like, just go into but it. But nothing. Yeah. I because guess. Because I think. Again, yeah. But you know what? This is classified as a, a fantasy horror movie because it's kind of got, you know, it's got the witches themes in it. It's kind of got like that. Um, not satanic, but anti-Christian vibe of like yeah. summoning death, you know. But there, it really didn't do it for me as far as like any supernatural and or horror aspect. Well, I was hoping so. To start off, this girl from the dance team or the dance club, dance studio, studio. Jesus, yeah, why could I not think of what it was? I don't know. Um, at the very beginning of the movie, Chloe Mortez, yeah goes crazy and she's telling her therapist that um basically they're trying to sacrifice someone for this mother yeah i didn't really get that from that 
Yeah, but, I was trying to read his notes too, but here's the other problem: is this movie is in three different languages. Oh my god, yeah. And and it's fine. Like I'm glad they did the subtitles in different colors, which was a nice hint. Yeah. You know, at like we're speaking a new language here, but like, fuck, he's writing in, he's speaking in English, and then he's speaking in German, and then he's writing in English, and then he's writing in German. I'm, I can't follow yeah. it. Well, all. and then there's some parts where. It's not even it, they're just showing like a hallway and then people are talking or they're showing a kitchen and people are talking and yes. you see you just see those subtitles and that's confusing, too. But um, so she's telling her therapist that, you know, they're trying to sacrifice her, blah, 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 blah. Then Dakota Johnson comes in and she's from Amish country in Ohio and um, she starts dancing and this was like when she's already in and they told her she's in she's dancing and this other girl is like getting out of there and she goes into the mirror the room of mirrors mm -hmm. and as she's dancing like the girl's getting fucked up like her yeah. bones are cracking and stuff i thought that was really cool i thought it was going to be more i was hoping there was going to be more like that like so when she I. dances that's what it's like that's when she's experiencing spell casting almost, right you know and, th and it, that was mentioned too because Later on in the film, when Dakota Johnson and Tilda Swinton's character, um, they're both kind of like talking. And she's like, you know, you have to, you know, breathe or m live through the moves. And she's like, like spell casting. Yeah. You know, it's, and it just was like this real fast, quippy line that just went right out the window after that. But, you know, I wanted more of that because I guess we, that's one of the positives of this movie is when there's gore, there's gore. Yeah. You know, thank God. They don't look back on that. Yeah. Because um, going to what you said about the, the mirror room scene where she's getting, um, you know, destroyed by a spell. You know, she's like bleeding from her eyes. She's, you know, puking. Excuse me. She peed um, her pants. She pissed herself. Yeah. And yeah. like her, her rib cage starts like expanding and her jaw is being twisted to the side. It, but it was, it, it showed it, but it didn't show it. Because it kept bouncing back and forth between Dakota dancing and her dying. Right. So it was like this, I don't know. It was very back and forth. And then there was just like the random scenes of Dakota's mom dying or Dakota's mom saying that like she was a mistake or yeah. Susie, I guess we should call her Susie. Susie. Yeah, but Dakota too. Susie's yeah. mom saying that like she was a mistake or whatever it was. And it was just, it, it just felt like there wasn't like... There was so much going on, but there was nothing actually happening. It's kind of like a meal that has so many sides, but no sustenance. Like you can eat it all and you just don't. I feel targeted. I love sides. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love my sides. But, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it was just, I feel empty. Like I feel like I needed something. Well, it reminds me of uh, like when you eat Chinese food. You can eat a whole bunch of it, and then you just feel hungry as hell, and like two minutes later, yeah, they're just because there, there was so much. Like, let me get my notes real quick. We could have started off eating Chinese food, and then by the end of the movie, wanted we'd want more, more Chinese, Chinese food. Yeah. Um, here's my notes, like th throughout, and there's not a whole lot. <laughs> I don't have a lot either. I, I, my first thing says that um, this movie is dark, dreadful, long. And very painful to watch. It's a cinematic masterpiece that has um, the yeah cinematic masterpiece that has haunting and dreaded music sprinkled over the top, with no nourishment that is needed. I, I just I stopped and, I, and then I took I put a note and I said this is the only way that I can explain how each shot in this movie is assembled because of how like just dreadfully long they were. And I hate using the word dreadful so many times, but it's true. Uh, and then I put a note on here that I stopped taking notes because I needed to try and follow along to a movie that I couldn't follow along to. So, well, it, well, and that's the thing. It felt like there should have been more to follow, but we were already following along. There's just no... It was really nice to look at. Yeah. Like, there was lots of really cool shots, like... And, you know, as one of the guys that we watched uh, review it a little bit, uh, not to, again, not to steal anything, but he pointed this out, which is something that I had had recognized, is that there's a lot of nods to the original film, or what I assumed was the original film, with the snap zoom cuts mm -hmm. and, you know, very, like, 
they were they were using uplighting on the set instead of you know coloring a uh, in in post production because you can easily add color to a scene in post production on the computer. But they were using uplighting, so their faces turned you know different colors with the with the different shades and all that stuff. So again, really good to look at. Yeah, just God, it was it's like watching paint dry. You know, kind of. It, yeah. There was just. It I mean, was the, but slow. the visuals were pretty. And, you know, the music seemed to... Yeah, so the music, I didn't realize this, but the music is uh, done by a band called Goblin, which is a... I, I listen to Goblin. They're not even really metal. They're just kind of like this very strange, yeah. um, atmospheric, you know, dark and spacey music, which is really great. I really like that a lot. Um. So I have a few... So is Suspiria... I put in here, is Suspiria a place? I don't because know. When she gets off the train. In the beginning. Yeah. Suspiria th- is to the left. I think that was supposed to be the title card. Because oh. they were doing like the, the title cards of like directed by, starring, blah, blah, blah. And then when she gets off the, the train, that's the last thing that shows up. Oh. And um, the movie starts, I guess. You know, I, I don't okay. know. But I don't know. It could be a place. Why wouldn't it be? I'm sure there's a place called Titicaca, which there is. Lake Titicaca. So... <laughs> I can't put it, you know, I can't put it past it. Yeah. You know? But uh, I think that was meant to be the title card. So. I guess I was just looking, I was looking too much into it. Because even when they were doing the dance, like the final dance, they had like the string, like the red string outfits. Yeah. And I was like, is that supposed to symbolize blood? Right. And then some of them exploded near the end of the movie. Right. So maybe it was supposed to symbolize blood, but I don't know. Like maybe maybe I'm expecting because there's so many movies that have such a deeper meaning that that's what I'm looking for. Yeah. I mean, the big scene in this movie wasn't even that good for me. Like that the the end scene where we start like or where we're supposed to start getting answers for everything and the stories unfolding is like you know, we finally see Mother uh, Marcos and um, her whole, like, first of all, that costume was cool. Mm-hmm. There was, like, a random hand, like, hanging off the side. And every yeah. time she shook, it was like, blah, 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 blah. You know? That'll be my Halloween costume this year. Yeah. It, re- it reminded <laughs> me of a, um, of a Resident Evil character. Yeah. Or a, um, even a, um, fuck, who are the ones from Hellraiser? What are those things called? What's Pinhead? Never seen it. A symbiote or a sim- simonite or fuck, I'm going to get some hate for that. I'm but, sorry, I can't help you. I've oh, man. It. But it reminds me of that uh, kind of thing. The fat one has like the really dark glasses on. And uh, so I kind of got a little bit of, um, you know, hey, that looks like this, that and the other thing going on. But uh, the whole premise with what's her name? The main character? Susie? Susie's uh the devil i guess or the friend of a devil and summons death she ends up being the mother i don't know again just like this very vague thrown together story that is not taking us to the proper places that it needs to yeah. really falls short with me you know but you know heads exploding not too bad special effects look decent i don't know if it was red cg or uh, blood cgi or vice versa, CGI blood, um, or if it was just like you know good, good special effects stuff. Yeah. But uh, that was yeah, that was like the climax of it all. And yeah. I, I mean, I I don't even have the energy to talk about the rest of the movie because after that, I was hoping it was just going to be over. I figured it would be, and it wasn't. It was still going. And it, I thought the dance was going to be the the climax part. I what, like, I thought so, but you know, she it. messed up. Why did she have to mess up? Why could they just not have her mess up? Yeah. And have it go as planned and then. Well, because she needed to mess up so that she could become the mother. Yeah, you're right. It was all planned. I guess. I don't know. I guess. Anyways. Well, the most interesting part of this you actually discovered accidentally because we were trying to figure out if the old guy was a person dressed up as an old man or just an old man that looks bad. And you know why I started questioning that? Is in the scene where he's eating with, uh, is it Sarah? Yeah. Okay. He's eating with her in the restaurant, like trying to discover things. 
I could hear his fucking lips smacking together. And that shit pisses me off. So I was like, God damn, like, I fucking hate this guy. I hate his voice. I hate the way that his mouth moves because he barely opens his mouth. And if you watch, too, the camera when he is talking is never directly on his face. It's always to the side because, as you were about to reveal. You reveal it. You you found it. Uh, as Well, we mentioned this a little bit earlier in the show, but um, that's Tilda Swinton. Yeah. Playing another character who is supposed to be a man or is a man and tilda swinton also played the dance director yes uh and then she also played the mother marcos yeah mother marcos character yeah the old one so rather interesting that we have a 100 percent male cast i think or female cast i i i believe so i think there's only two characters that weren't and they were like the cops or something in the beginning oh yeah there was a cop at one point. Yeah, because he goes into the police station to report. Yeah. You know, or try to report the dance studio for sacrificing people. But that was it. Yeah. That's it. So pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Uh, I wonder why the choice was made to do that instead of just casting someone else. But Maybe Tilda wants, wanted to do that. I don't know. <clears throat> Expand her horizons. Very artistic. Yeah. That's the best I can explain. It was this very movie. artsy. It's just very yeah. artsy. You know, and I think that was the point of it. I don't think it was necessarily made to be like scare the shit out of you or, you know, really make you squirm or anything. Yeah, but more suspenseful. Just, yeah, Suspiria. Yeah. Suspenseful. Uh, do you want to explain how we rate movies around here? Yeah. So we rate things two ways here. Um, we rate it if we would pick it, meaning we would recommend for someone to watch it or we flick it, meaning that we watched it so you don't have to. Um, and then we also rate things on a scale of one to ten, one being the worst, ten being the best, obviously. Yes. So what so, did you give it? Uh, are we doing, let's do pick or flick Pick first. it or flick it. Uh, it's a flick for me. Yeah, me too. I don't think it's worth your two and a half hours. Yeah. It's way better things to watch. In fact, things that we watched already this month are way better. Yes. <laughs> I mean... I didn't really like Sleepaway Camp, but this that movie was way better than this movie. Oh, I like Sleepaway Camp. Yeah, I know you did. I was on I was on that episode. I yeah. heard your score. <laughs> um, one out of ten. Um, honestly, I gave it a seven. Whoa! Because I think that the visuals were great. The acting was was phenomenal. I really think the acting was great. Um, at no point did I feel like I was like watching. I mean, I obviously knew I was watching a movie, but at no point was I like. Eh. I didn't like that, you know, in well, really? regards to acting. I think that the story, like, as all over the place that it was, like, it's still, like, flowed. Whether or not it made much sense, it's still kept on going. Sure. That's one thing I respect a lot about you is that you have a lot of um, leniency to things. With me, if you don't listen to our show, uh, I, I am. You've given high scores and flicked movies before. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm very harsh. Yeah. I usually am very, very harsh. Luke is too, to the extent, but I think I grade things or rate things the hardest out of all of us. Um, and also before I give my score here, we don't tell each other what our scores are just so you, just so everyone knows we've been making this a point because we like to surprise each other. I gave this movie a whopping two out of 10. Wow. This movie sucked. You gave it a two? A two out of 10. Wow. I, abso- I actually hated this movie. <laughs> I, and the more we talked about it, like I was getting amped up just a little while ago. The more we talked about it, the more I realized I hated this movie. I did not like it at all. Yeah. It was long. It was dreadful. How many times did I say that this mo- this episode? Take a shot every time Vox says dreadful, guys. It was boring. It was lackluster as hell. The only colors in this movie was red and gray and white. And that's because white was it snowing. Red was the blood when there was blood, which was the only cool fucking part about the movie. And gray was just the rest of it. It like there was like this film put over the film to make it look gray. To Everything. make it look like I feel like it was supposed to look like dreary, like yeah. Germany in the yeah, 70s. Very, yeah, very World War II, yeah. you know, or actually it's great. It's the Berlin Wall times, right? Is that World War Two? I don't know. I'm not, a not, hu- I'm not a huge history guy yeah. either, so I probably make myself look an ass. But regardless, I, I, you know, they talked about the war and after the war. Oh, yeah, it's World War II because they're talking about Nazis and stuff. So whatever. Anyways, I just I hated it. 
Yeah. I fucking hated it. This is the lowest rated movie on the list so far. Well, it probably will remain there because it's I d- lower than Forever Purge. Uh, yeah. Let me go back real quick. Forever Purge got a um three. What about the Nun? Well, you have to go first of all. If you haven't listened to these, oh, the Nun got a three as well. So oh. this, this is the lowest. Wow. Okay. On this list, I'm very. I'm being. I'm being hard. I'm being hard. I can. T- I can tell. But you know what? Whatever. We have plenty of more movies to come. Yeah. Some that may surprise us and even be lower than this one. Who knows? I'm excited. I, for I'm a couple sure of them. I, I've already had ones that are lower than this one. So we'll find out. Yeah. Uh, thanks for listening. If you are interested in li- hearing what we have coming up for the rest of the Halloween extravaganza, uh, be sure to l- c- subscribe, comment, like, do whatever the fuck YouTube. Keep things. listening. Yeah, keep listening. That's the big <laughs> thing. Um, we are posting one video review, one movie review. For every single day in October. Yeah. For the Halloween extravaganza. So please keep Number listening. Three. Yes. <laughs> Don't go away. <laughs> if you've listened to this far, you just keep watching the yes, rest of them. Yes, it'll get better once we actually like a movie, I promise. Yeah, hopefully we get there. <laughs> Until next time. Bye. Bye.